Now, basically, our values, the set of norms, the informal and formal rules of behaviour, the shared understanding within an organisation of the problems to be solved and the goals to be pursued in relation to one another need to be negotiated. It goes through a, uh, it's constantly reconstructed by the members involved. It's a process of negotiation and the consensus of values. So through this negotiation process, the organisational members create, maintain, change, and they're restricted by that negotiated order. And it's the negotiated order that provides the organisation with the structure. So for individuals, groups, and enterprises to effectively manage change, they must be able to negotiate and collaborate. So when we talk about a negotiated order, it's the processes, protocols, the culture. Uh, again, we go back to the clientele, your relationships, all of those particular aspects have been negotiated over time. And to any change to that particular negotiated order, it needs to be negotiated between the parties involved. So what we've seen over recent years is a major shift from organisational design and thinking. And that's taking the organisations from the view as a physical structure with defined boundaries to a more subjective view of the organisation as a process of social action about what it does and, and it emphasises interdependence and connectedness. Now, the organisation... Now, I've talked about change management collaboration. Both of these uh, key competencies and processes are intertwined. One relies upon the other. So to have a, have a look at the definition or concept of collaboration, it's important to understand that it's a social process. It involves a joint conscious effort and cooperation between two or more parties that voluntarily pool their diverse complementary expertise, perspectives, knowledge, skills and resources and we look at why do we collaborate, and it's to deliver collaborative advantage to the organisations. And this occurs when the enterprise allows the key members or players involved to set a collaborative process that allows them to achieve vertical integration and to work together as an integrated team or a high-performing whole. Collaboration also adds speed to any change process or any organisational development process. It provides both speed and agility.